Alice Cooper, a member of Johnny Depp's tour, on whether he was reluctant to work with him after his defamation trial with Amber Heard. Many people regard Johnny Depp as an accomplished character actor who is well known for his outstanding performances as Jack Sparrow and Edward Scissorhands. However, for a generation, the highly publicized legal battle with Amber Heard in recent years has eclipsed his remarkable career spanning decades. As Depp makes his way through a sluggish Hollywood comeback, Alice Cooper, a rock legend and Depp's bandmate in the Hollywood Vampires, opens up about working with the Pirates of the Caribbean star. He especially discusses if the slander case made him hesitant to work with the star who is currently under fire. While discussing their recent Hollywood Vampires tour with Vulture, Alice Cooper, 75, offered insights on the dynamic with his well-known bandmate. He admitted that the widely reported defamation lawsuit involving Johnny Depp and Amber Heard wasn't the tour's main emphasis and that he wouldn't hesitate for a second to collaborate with the actor again. He also acknowledged making light of the circumstance while on tour and mentioned another ex-couple who had been embroiled in legal trouble. Cooper stated to the source, In no way. If you discuss it with Johnny, he will confirm that it actually occurred. Yep, yeah, what's the next song, was all he said. It was one of those situations for Johnny where, you can't claim that everything was exaggerated, but I don't see why they would broadcast the events on television. It is due to both individuals' fame. The most insightful thing I had to say was, they ought to remake War of the Roses with Johnny and Amber, who wouldn't want to see that. I'll check that out. Make Angie and Brad their attorneys to make it more better. All you need for that to be a huge smash is a really humorous filmmaker. The renowned rock artist openly expressed his thoughts on the televised trial that took place in Virginia and ended with a finding that Heard was guilty of defamation.